Hey guys, this is Jamil and you are watching JTCAD. In this video tutorial, we've got a fantastic lineup of AutoCAD tips and tricks session covering a variety of questions I've been receiving on AutoCAD printing and paper size like uh, how to make long sheet print in AutoCAD, how to set up uh, custom paper size for long drawings, how to print from AutoCAD to a large format printer. So let's get started. In this step-by-step -step video tutorial, we will set, uh, start by uh, setting up our viewport to show our desired area from model space that we want to print on long sheet. Then we'll modify our paper space to align with the viewport. We'll also learn how to create a custom paper size in paper space of AutoCAD. We will then create and assign custom paper size settings in AutoCAD plot window. Uh, and finally, at the end of this AutoCAD print setup tutorial, you will be able to make a long format PDF print on custom paper size from AutoCAD. Uh, just like this one that I have created earlier, the large scale drawing or long sheets in AutoCAD can be printed on uh, paper rolls uh, which are in size for in my case it is a one size paper which is 594 meter wide and the length of paper is uh, the standard is 841 but I need it uh, more than that so the roll total length is 50 meter actually so let's get started here is my road layout that I want to show uh, in my drawing this is the portion that I want to zoom in my drawing so it will be all in one sheet see this is the portion uh, that I'm showing right now but uh, I need it to show in uh, full scale means I need more area to be zoomed in and shown in the drawing. As you can see, I'm on the paper space in AutoCAD. Here is our key plan, then is the notes, legends, and other drawing settings and uh, drawing details. I put some dimensions so I will not be drawing uh, the paper again uh, just to save time. Uh, in my case, I will simply this is the portion that we want to copy in my paper space. I will go to edit, copy with base point, click and uh, I will simply copy this in my layout, edit, paste. This is the portion that should be zoomed here in my paper space. First of all, I will just rotate it. R and then with the reference I will start from here and the end point will be here I will try to align this with my viewport so you can see that my drawing should be the viewport should be starting from here up to here and the total length of uh, this way the total length of the drawing will increase the simplest way I can do is simply enter S stretch and I will stretch this portion of my paper space and I'll deselect this with shift and hit enter I will grab my viewport from this point you can see I can drag it up to here you can see the viewport is has become larger to fit this same length of my uh, desired area for now I will just simply delete it and now I will check what is the paper size now it is 594 and the length is 2693 so instead of 200 to 2693 I will uh, make it 2700 which is closer than round figure so I will make one extension line from here up to here and make an offset which is 2700 
it is almost close I will stretch the paper again we will shift and deselect this hit enter grab it from here and put it here and let's see what is the paper size now it is 2700 by 594 I'll delete it and now this is the portion that we uh, this is the paper that we have and now in this viewport we want to zoom this portion in our viewport I'll go to model space zoom out and see what we have so the common thing we have is this is the same window and it is starting from center to center so this center and this center point of these edges we will fit the in the viewport in this center and this center I'll simply go to express tools layout tools align space and I will press shift key right click click on midpoint so it will snap on midpoint again it is asking to the opposite corner again I will press shift right click midpoint and grab the midpoint you can see I have switched back to automatically I've switched back to the paper space again I will press shift right click on the midpoint click on the midpoint and the opposite side is also press shift right click midpoint click on the midpoint and now it is asking activate the desired viewport to align and press enter this is my desired uh, viewport I will simply press enter you can see the viewport has been zoomed this is my desired area that I want to show in my drawing the next thing is I will need to create a custom paper size that uh, we need to print on this drawing will be printed on the long sh long sheet which will be printed on the uh, large scale printer like this I will go again to my viewport and from plot settings I will go to select DWG to PDF from here you will select your desired printer whatever is connected with you We'll go to properties from here you can select any ctb that you have pen settings uh, for now in my case i don't have any so i selected none in plot configuration editor uh, you can go to custom properties sorry custom paper sizes and here i will add a new paper size from begin start from scratch next <coughs> as we have just checked we are working in millimeters height of paper is 594 and the width of paper is that we know 2700 you can see in preview it looks similar to whatever we have in our paper space hit next and the top bottom left margins we don't have because we are measuring from edge to edge of the paper so this all figures I will make zero 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 and zero hit next you will see your paper size here it is user 1 uh, 2700 by 594 next enter uh, this file already exists so I will just name it to something different next finish once you click on custom paper sizes you will see your all of your custom paper sizes that you had created before you can click here press enter and for now if you need this uh, same setting to be saved just save it or otherwise simply uh, apply for the current plot only hit enter uh, once you have selected your printer here your newly set 
paper size will be at the bottom of this list in paper sizes you can select your paper size and from a plot area what do you want to plot just select window from window I will click this top left corner to bottom right corner you can see it will be zoomed here if I fit it because the paper size that we have created and what we have drawn in the drawing both are exactly in one to one scale so the viewports and units are exactly matching with this I just let's see a preview this is how your drawing will look like you can see for now I will go and plot I had already printed a drawing I will simply replace it save it yes you will see how it looks like so this is how you can create a drawing from PDF from drawing to create a PDF uh, how to print on custom paper sizes and this same you can print on your long format printer on a1 size or a0 size whatever paper size do you have uh, another question that uh, i had been receiving i had received is what is the maximum paper size in autocad uh, the straight answer to this question is it is 200 inches or 5 meter the maximum length of paper that you can possibly print from dwg to pdf in autocad or to your plotter uh, this is what I have experienced uh, it might change in future so uh, this is all for today if you have got any questions if you got any uh, new things new if you learn something new or you got some other ideas about this just let me know in the comments section uh, uh, until next happy drafting bye bye thanks for watching